अर्थ मूवमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जियोमार्फोलॉजी विच हैज बीन रिसेंटली एडेड इन द सेलेबस बाई यू पी एस सी नाउ टू डे लेटेस्ट स्टडी अर्थ मूवमेंट अर्थ मूवमेंट मीन्स मोशन चेंज इन द अर्थ अर्थ मूवमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स इट हैज थ्री कैटेगरीज नंबर वन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल मूवमेंट और मोशन इन द अर्थ सेकेंड जियोलॉजिकल मूवमेंट थर्ड जोग्राफिकल मूवमेंट एंड इन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल मूवमेंट और मोशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट अर्थ हैज टू मोशंस वन रोटेशन ऑन इट्स एक्सिस एंड सेकेंड इट्स आर्बिटल मोशन अराउंड द सन सो दीज आर द टू विच हैव बीन स्टडीड इन डिटेल इन एस्ट्रोनॉमी हियर द सेकेंड वन इज दिस जियोलॉजिकल मूवमेंट इन द अर्थ वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट अर्थ कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट्स इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ अर्थ वेन वी गो फ्राम द सर्फेस टू द कोर ऑफ अर्थ फर्स्ट लेयर इज लिथासफियर आर क्रस्ट सेकेंड इज मैंटिल आर पायरोस्फियर थर्ड इज कोर आर सेंटर आर बैरिस्फियर आर कोर सो दिस वे दीज आर द थ्री लेयर्स एंड बिटवीन दीज थ्री लेयर्स देर इज डिफरेंशियल मोशन मीन्स देर इज नो हारमनी इन द रोटेशनल स्पीड बिटवीन द क्रस्ट एंड मैंटिल एंड ड्यू टू दिस डिफरेंशियल मोशन देर इज ए फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द टू एंड फ्रिक्शनल एनर्जी काजेस टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर देयर इन एस्थिनोस्फियर बिटवीन क्रस्ट एंड मैंटिल रीचेज अप टू वन थाउजेंड डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट इज कॉल्ड जियो थर्मल एनर्जी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इट इन सेपरेट वीडियो दैट जियो थर्मल एनर्जी इज ऑल्सो ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स मैग्मेटिक एनर्जी एच डी आर एंड हॉट ग्राउंड वाटर इन द सेम वे देर इज डिफरेंशियल मोशन बिटवीन द मैंटिल एंड द कोर देर ऑल्सो फ्रिक्शनल एनर्जी जनरेटेड टेम्परेचर रीचेज टू थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड दैट एनर्जी इज नॉट कॉल्ड जियो थर्मल एनर्जी रादर दैट इज जियो मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी सो जियोलॉजिस्ट आर मेनली कंसर्न विद द थ्री डिफरेंशियल मोशंस इन द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द अर्थ दैट इज क्रस्ट मैंटिल एंड कोर सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन इज जियो थर्मल एनर्जी एंड द सेकेंड वन इज जियो मैग्नेटिक एनर्जी नाउ इन द टॉपिक अर्थ मूवमेंट थर्ड वन एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज जोग्राफिकल बिकॉज स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एस्ट्रोनॉमी आर लार्जली कंसर्न विद दिस फॉल द स्कॉलर्स ऑफ जियोलॉजी हैव कंसर्न विद दिस बट वी द स्टूडेंट ऑफ जोग्राफी हैव मेन कंसर्न विद दिस बिकॉज द अर्थ क्रस्ट इज चेंजिंग एंड दैट चेंज इज ड्यू टू सम जियोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स एज वेल एज सम एक्सोजेनिक फैक्टर्स सो दैट्स वाई इन डिटेल वी शैल स्टडी द फोर्सेज अफेक्टिंग अर्थ क्रस्ट इन डिटेल बट इन ब्रीफ इन दिस टॉपिक अर्थ मूवमेंट्स नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर हाउ जोग्राफिकल मोशन इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन द अर्थ हियर दिस हैज बीन कैटेगराइज इन टू पार्ट्स नंबर वन इंडोजेनिक इंडोजेनिक आर टेक्टोजेनिक एंड सेकेंड इज एक्सोजेनिक वॉट इज इंडोजेनिक एंड वॉट इज एक्सोजेनिक इट इज वेरी एविडेंट आर क्लियर बिकॉज द फोर्सेज विच आर नॉट सीन एंड विच इनिशिएट फ्राम द एस्थिनोस्फियर ऑफ द अर्थ आर कॉल्ड इंडोजेनिक एंड टेक्टॉनिक हैपेनिंग्स टेक प्लेस ड्यू टू दैट फोर्स वाइल एक्सोजेनिक द सेकेंड वन is related with the forces affecting or working on the earth from outside means from the atmosphere 
are these are the climatic forces which help the endogenic forces thus these earth movements result now in tectogenic or endogenic forces we have to consider two type of forces one is micro second is meso in micro there is large scale movement and that movement is in the form of plate as you know that our crust is not continuous rather it is broken in different major parts and minor parts those major and minor parts are called plates and those plates are not stable or stationary rather those plates are floating you answer over which they are floating whether this is asthenosphere or it is gutenberg channel or it is gutenberg discontinuity for its clarification you have to again revise the internal structure of the earth so answer is the plates are floating on asthenosphere and their motion or movement is not uniform secondly all the plates have don't equal weight or pressure some plates are continental over which continents are situated some plates are oceanic oceanic plates are heavier continental plates are lighter this will be discussed in detail in plate tectonics but here regarding the motion of these plates we have to study in brief suppose these are the two plates these are the two different plates and between the two crack you are seeing by chance due to some endogenic force suppose some force is coming from below and that is forcing these plates to get separated resultantly these are moving apart in opposite direction so when these will move in opposite direction the magma that was overlain by these plates will get released and that magma will erupt through this fissure this is called fissure eruption and that magma will be covered later on with ocean water thus in between those two plates or continental plates water body will come into existence and this is called sea floor spreading contrary to it when two plates are moving apart this is called constructive plate margin while if one plate is moving opposite the other plate in opposite direction certainly this plate will be colliding with its neighboring plate and when this plate will collide here both are colliding then some material is between the two plates and due to pressure of the two the material or sediment between the two will get forced and it will be forced to rise up in the form of folded mountain how suppose the two forces are from two sides this way and from two sides forces are coming my both hands you are seeing that the sediment or material deposited by the rivers will get pressure from both side and this is called compressional force and you are seeing here some part of that sediment is rising somewhere here and some part is getting inclined getting down thus this is the compressional force so we have seen that plates are either moving and coming closer together giving birth to a folded mountain plates are moving a part in opposite direction with the result new ocean is spreading or opening so this is the movement of plate movement of the earth or earth crust in horizontal position in horizontal way that's why here in tectonic there are two one 
is epirogenic and second is orogenic. In orogenic, there are two forces, one tensional and second compressional. Tensional means when the two plates will move in opposite direction, there is tension. But when two plates will collide, there is compression. So in tension, new C spreads in compression, folded mountains come in, into existence. So except this one motion of the plate is epirogenic. In epirogenic, there are two plates. Those are not moving horizontally, rather vertically. Vertically means either one plate is going down or the other plate is going up. So the plate which is going down, it will be lowered and it will be covered with ocean water. And this process is called submergence. During submergence, the ocean area spreads. Contrary to it, if one plate is going up, so why it is going up? It may be caused due to magma or magmatic energy. This will be studied in detail in the chapter isostasy. So, if one plate will go up, so new land will emerge, come up out of the sea level. That's why this is called emergence. The uprising of plate is called emergence and down going of plate is called submergence. Due to this vertical motion, either continents open, come into existence or ocean bottom spreads, means some land subsides. This will be discussed in detail with suitable examples while studying the endogenic forces of the earth. So, in this tectonic motion, this one means epirogenic is of two types. One is emergence, second is submergence. Emergence means continental part are coming up and examples are Scandinavia, Alaska. What are the causes of those regional emergence? This will be discussed. And likewise, submergence means some land or part of the crust, maybe continent or ocean basin, each going subduction. For example, Indian plate. Indian plate is subducting or say better submerging. And that's why it is going down, contrary to it, other parts are coming up. And the rate of submergence, it's a special explanation will be done in Indian plate tectonics. After studying the tectogenic or endogenic force or motion or movement, now let us come to here exogenic motion or movement that is of micro level. This was micro level, this meso level, this micro level. Now here what is meso level motion in the earth? Number one is volcano, second is earthquake. Volcano will be discussed in separate independent chapter. While volcano is known to everybody that from asthenosphere sometimes magma comes out and that is earth motion because it either comes through fissure eruption or through central eruption and a number of landforms are developed and changes take place. In the same way, earthquake is also a movement of the crust wherein especially we shall see in world that along the new mountain ranges, tertiary mountain ranges like Himalayas, there are seismic belts and earth tremors are experienced by seismographs. Now after this meso earth movement, this is micro earth movement at a very micro level wherein endogenic forces and exogenic forces both are responsible. But here in this category it has been written under exogenic forces while without endogenic force it is not possible 
that landslide avalanche will take place but for generalization now let us learn that in exogenic or micro earth movement one is landslide it is well known phenomena causing catastrophe because on mountains during rainy season due to hydration of rocks some small or large size of land slides according to slope and causes large damage avalanche is nearly the same type of a phenomena that occurs on mountain near ice line during winter season because during winter when the ice thickness is increased due to gravitational force ice cracks and some major or minor part slides and this is also a type of micro earth movement and this rock fall is generally seen along the waterfalls when water is falling continuously the rock is being weathered chemically and sometimes big or small part of rock falls down that is called rock fall this is type of earth movement or motion and mass movement mass movement means the uh, along the slopes due to weathered material it may be due to fluvial process or due to thermal process some major or minor part slopes down and that is called mass movement and then mud slumping it is by fluvial process along the river sides that has a steep slope or that is a type of scar or better to say bluff and due to hydration the mud slumps very slowly and is deposited in river valley this is also a micro level earth movement so these are the different types of earth movement but when the question is in geography which one will be emphasized by you and what is expected by upsc here it is very much clear that being geographer you should focus on this and on this especially micro meso and micro and this can be written in brief in 50 words and this also in 20 and 25 words but the line share goes to this geographical earth movement